Hello friends, my name is Ankush. In the today's uh, video, we are going to see uh, how to create the pluggable database manually. Uh, in my last video, I have already shown you guys uh, how to create the pluggable database by using the DBCA. As I said earlier, there are uh, different ways through which we can create the pluggable database. So let's see how we can create this database uh, by using the SQL prompt and uh, we'll use the SQL query itself. Okay. Uh, I have already installed this Oracle 12C database. Okay. I'm checking what is the name of database and whether it's a container database or not. That one also we are going to see from free dollar database is a view uh, my database name is cdb it is a container database and currently it is read write mode from here uh, this is the view through which we can come to know that whether it is a container database or not okay now i'm checking uh, what are all the data uh, what are all the pluggable databases are available uh, now I here I can see there are two pluggable database the first one is a seed this is the default one only when we create a container database that time only it will uh, create and the, the second one is a PDBV uh, this is what I have created manually last time this time we are going to create the pluggable new pluggable database okay so let's see uh, there are a couple of things again uh, you need to take care when we are creating the pluggable database uh, we need to connect to the root container so i have already connected to the root container by using the show container underscore name you can come to know that uh, we are connected to the container again there is some different way as well if you just do the sql plus as is dba by default it will get connected to the container itself and you can also do the ultra session set container equals to container name okay uh, now let's see how to create the pluggable database I have already one query with me handy so that I can just use this query uh, the if you check this query properly you will come to know what I'm going to do create pluggable database name the pluggable database name here we need to i am also creating one admin user as a test user the password also i am putting the same what will be the default table space along with this database i am also creating one default table space so that the user will use this default table space okay uh, again data files is must because the data will be going to store with this data file itself and table space is, is a logical thing okay mm, auto extend on that is fine because whenever this table space will get full automatically it will get extend hmm this is the important thing that we need to see here what is happening when i'm creating this pluggable database it is using the template of seed database and whatever the data files which are available to this seed that is going to reflect here so because of that only i am using the file name convert because my seed database is seed databases data files are available here and by using this file name convert it will take the data files from here and it will get stored to this location let's see is okay pdb1 is my database name uh, again one more thing which I want to sh tell you guys when you are creating a new pluggable database it is a good practice to open the alert log file I have already opened the alert log file with me here and the location is like this your oracle home trace alert underscore cdb dot log if you want to know about this alert log file uh, you can check my other videos okay so previously i was working with this uh, dropping the pluggable database so this is how it is showing here let's see now i have fired this command create pluggable database pdb1 
with the user test user you will see the same changes to this alert log file see here now it is showing me the prompt do you want to reload it it means to say new data has been came here and just we are reloading it right see here this is what we did now okay you just if you are using this notepad plus plus just go here uh, reload new things will come here like this still it is creating the pluggable database okay let's check what it is showing again i got the message do you want to reload it yes mm -hmm. Okay, see previously I just selected this part again new things are coming here database character state deleting old files successfully created internal service pdb1 because when we are creating the database pluggable database on the windows server it will create this service as well if you want to check about the services just go to the start and type the command as services.msc completed it is showing as a completed let's see here okay see here pluggable database created i'm just checking to whom i have connected ctp root let's check the pluggable databases we have oh, oh so here it is showing as a pdb1 is created but the thing is that we need to consider it is in mounted mode it means to say database is closed now here we need to manually open the database alter pluggable database database name pdb1 open okay we got a successful message pluggable database altered let's check the status now it is showing pdb1 is in read write mode that's fine so this is what we need uh, we have created the database manually and currently it is read write mode means user can user are good to use this pluggable database uh, if you have any queries uh, you can write mail to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you with the next video. Bye bye. Holiday.